Okay? Okay, guys, let's pray. Okay, we'll ask God to bless our time. But Daddy, you said once we will go over the rules. Um, I did? Yeah. Okay. The rules then for family worship, guys, trading for big church. Okay, sit on your tush. No interrupting, right? If you have a question, raise your hand. And then keep your hands and your legs and all body parts to yourself, okay? That's right. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray, guys. Father, we ask for your blessing during family worship tonight that we would, as a family, worship you, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, our song for the week is? Let's all sing it together. Revive thy work. Ready? Revive thy work, O Lord. Thy mighty arm make bare. Speak with the voice that wakes the dead and make thy people hear. Do it again. Revive thy work, O Lord. Thy mighty arm make bare. Speak with the voice that wakes the dead and make thy people hear. Wait, who has the voice that can wake the dead? Jesus! That's right, God does. Remember, guys, it's like our bonfire out there, right? When you first start it, the fire's big, right? But after a while, what happens? fire kind of gets smaller. That's why you need to put more wood on there and get it big again, right? Well, that's we're... as big as our house. Well, that'd be great. But in the that'd song, be a big problem. in the song, we're praying for God to make the fire of love for him bigger and greater and to revive it. Emma, now pick our next song. Hark the Herald. Hark the Herald. Okay. Hark the Herald, angel sing. Glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise. Join the triumph of the skies. With the angelic host proclaim. Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. What a great song. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. And Micaiah. <clears throat> and Micaiah? Yeah. And Jezebel. Not Jezebel. Yes, yeah, she was wicked. The blood on the wall. All right, what book of the Bible are we reading? Mark. Hey, we're almost done. We're almost done. Mark is all about Jesus as the suffering servant. Now, somebody tell me, what did we go over? Sure, no. What did we go over in Mark chapter 15? Jesus was hanging on a and what did he say when he was on the cross? It is finished. It is finished, which means what? Remember? The wrath. The wrath of God is it's finished. It's like he drank the cup of God's wrath in full, right? Did people love him as they were walking by? What did they do to him? Tifa, do you remember? That's right. Is it a good thing that he stayed on the cross? It sure is. Yeah, he died there on the cross. And he said, my God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? <coughs> That's right. Could you imagine God the Father being forsaken from God the Son, right? And then when Jesus died, anybody remember what happened to the curtain in the temple? Yeah. It was like torn in two, right? From top to bottom. That means we can approach God now, right? Because of what Jesus has done 
on the cross. Well, so Jesus died on Friday. He was dead and in the grave. Sit down, girls. Now on Saturday, he was in the tomb, in the grave, dead. Everybody listen to Mark chapter 16, okay? When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices. They bought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. Very early, very early on the first day of the week, that Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, third day, on the first day of the week when the sun had gone up, the ladies, they went, went to the tomb very early in the morning, and they were saying, who's going to roll away the stone for us? I mean, the stone was big. Too big for you to roll away. Too big for you to roll away. Roll away. Maybe some ladies thought, who's going to do that? Finally, they looked and they said, oh, look, the stone is rolled away. Who rolled it away? And when they went into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side. And you know what? He was dressed in a white robe. Who was he? The angel. The angel. And the angel said, do not be alarmed. Don't be afraid. You're seeking Jesus of Nazareth, but he was crucified and he has risen. He is not here. What great news. What do you mean not here? We, we put him in the grave. We saw where they put Jesus. I wonder who stole him. Nobody stole him. What happened to him? But I thought he was dead. He came back to life? Wait. Can you come back to life in your own strength? Only God can make someone come back to life again, right? Guess what the angel told the girls, the ladies to do. The angel said, I want you to go. I want you to go. And I want you to tell the disciples what has happened. Tell Peter that he's going to go before you to Galilee. And there you will see Jesus. What, why do you think? Daddy, Daddy, Daddy um, when are we going to read Darling Thomas today? The tomorrow. That's in John. But. Oh, well, 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 just add it to the sure, scripture? Sure. Sure. But why do you think Jesus had to rise from the dead, Emuna? Sit on your tush, please. Okay. What, why couldn't he just stay dead? Anybody know? What, why did he have to rise from the dead? Yeah. Jesus That's right. That's right. There is someone who loves death. There is someone who brought death into the world, and he's Satan, right? Right? He, he is the one who loves to kill the body and the soul, right? That's Satan. What? Uh, 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 if sin hadn't started, we would have someone from No. If there would never have been sin, we would have lived on forever and ever, just like Adam. But Satan fell because of his pride, and Adam sinned, and Eve sinned, and we have all sinned. And yet Jesus died, and when he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, the Bible says that that is what secured our salvation. Because, guys, we serve a Savior who is alive. He's coming back again one day. Yeah. You have a question? <laughs> Isn't it cool, guys, to think... Somebody give me a song about Jesus rising from the dead. What's a Jesus. song? What? Um, uh, uh, Jesus has risen from the dead. 
There was a song where he sang on Easter Sunday. Jesus is risen from the dead. Yeah, yeah. G uh, uh, Christ has risen from the grave. Yeah, Christ the Lord is risen today, right? Hallelujah. Yeah. Or, or crown him with many crowns. Doesn't that talk about Jesus rising from the dead? That only talks about heaven and heaven happening at the end of the day. Guys, what a great truth. Guys, listen. No other religion has a savior that is alive. Only the Bible. The Bible teaches that we serve a living savior. That's why we should believe in him and live for him and trust in him and follow him because he's alive right now in heaven and he's coming back again one day, right? Remember, all the book of Acts, Peter and, and John and James and, and Paul, they all have one main message. Jesus died and he rose again. Believe in him. Trust in him. Daddy? Live for him. Follow him. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's do Doubting Thomas tomorrow when we have more time to talk about him, okay? Because Jesus rose and then he was going to go meet the disciples. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Thomas. In John chapter 20. Okay, guys, sit down. Listen, for our prayer time, we're all going to pick a couple things to be thankful for. Say that we're thankful for, okay? So you can pray, and you can say this. God, I thank you for... Everybody say that with me. God, I thank you for... And pick maybe one or two things, okay? Maybe Mommy will go first, and then Kaya, then Tikva, then Emuna, and I'll go, okay? Let's pray. I want to go first. No, let's let Mama let's let Mama lead, and she'll teach us how to do it. And then you, then Tifa, then Emma, and then me. Okay, go ahead. God, I thank you for the fact that you are not dead. You are a God of the living and not of the dead. In fact, you conquered death and sin um, by your death on the cross and resurrection. so much for the written word of God, the Bible. It is the truth. It is our guide. It is our compass. It tells us how to live life. It tells us about Christ and how he died on the cross and he bore the wrath of God and how he lives. He lives forevermore because he rose from the dead. Thank you that Jesus destroyed the works of the devil. And Lord, I pray for all of our children, for Hezekiah and Tikva and Emunah and Kesed and Aha, that they would all come to love and know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Thank you that Jesus is alive and that he gives life to his own people who believe in him. In Jesus' name, amen.